My name is Kent, and welcome to day four of Stations of the Cross. As we head toward Easter together, we are walking with Jesus in his journey toward the cross and his journey toward his death. To help us do this, we are walking through what is commonly known as the Stations of the Cross, which are 14 separate movements where we are walking with Jesus. We're going to engage with the scripture and have some personal application. I want to invite you to spend as much time as you need in each area to interact with God in a personal way. Feel free to click pause at any time and for as long as you need during the video to personally interact with God about each station. You may even wish to keep a journal as you go through these stations. Let's pray. As we enter this exercise, we pause to be still, to breathe slowly, to recenter our scattered senses upon the presence of God. God, in this moment, I want to be awake to your presence. Lead me as I walk with Jesus toward the cross. Amen. John chapter 19, verse 17 reads, Carrying his own cross, he went out to the place of the skull, which in Aramaic is called Golgotha. Let's read this Celtic daily prayer. Jesus had willingly embraced the cross, but his physical body was weak from lack of sleep, from the pressures of arrest and trial, and from torture and beating. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Jesus said yes, but his body hesitated and he fell to his knees, determining to rise again, even in his weakness. The entire cross likely weighed close to 300 pounds, and the cross beam alone was between 75 and 125 pounds. Those condemned to crucifixion were often forced to carry their own cross beams. Can you imagine that physical weight? Pick up one of the beams if you are able. How long could you carry this cross beam? Now imagine this, if this is an entire 300 pound cross, how long could you carry it? In addition to the weight of the wooden cross, Jesus would also be carrying the weight of all of our sin upon himself. Is there sin weighing you down? What have you done that you regret? What have you done that has hurt other people? What would you take back if you could? Are there habits that you want to get rid of? Write any of these on your paper and tape it to your cross. Let's pray. Father, help me to live this day to the full, being true to you in every way. Jesus, help me to give myself away to others, being kind to everyone I meet. Holy Spirit, help me to love the lost proclaiming Christ in all I do and say. Amen. Amen.